listen, we this is a team that will never get beat on effort or, or, or you know that we're evident today. I just thought the team spirit that we've got there were, were evident to see, and you know we fought to the fought to the very last fought to the very last minute. You know we had some guys out there that have not played first team uh, with us this year, and we give uh, an opportunity to a, a young kid who, who I thought were fantastic. Um, didn't look out of place, carried the ball strong. And um, you know he's, he's certainly going to be one for for the future of Wakefield Trinity. So um, yeah, I sat, sit here as a, as a as a proud coach of the uh, Wakefield Trinity side that's you know, got got uh, another two points off the Rhinos. Yeah, those two uh, those two early tries there. Um, you know, they through uh, through our execution there, where they've scored you know two tries. Um, in um, in these sort of games there with a the short turnaround, we, you, you can't. We, we, we sort of we try to run them down, t you know, twice. Um, obviously, they, when they, they got up uh, twelve nil, uh, did a really good job to come back, um, uh, playing some decent football there. And then the second half, we talked about uh, just doing the, uh, the the same things, you know, stick to the game plan. And I just thought we went away from it in that, that second half, uh, in particular at the start. You know, it wasn't wasn't good enough. Um, uh, yeah, we nearly ran it down again. This, you know, like towards the towards the end, we just ran out of time. Unfortunately, I thought we were coming back a little bit stronger. Lost, uh, you know, uh, Albert Wellington. Um, but um, yeah, we knew that we, we, we'd had that extra day in terms of the in, in terms of the preparation, and said to the guys, whatever you think you're going through at this moment in time at half time, that you know, they're they're twice as bad. Um, so um, you know, we just got to make sure that we. You know, it was ball control were really poor that first half. I think it was about 60 or 60 odd percent, and um, we rectified that at half time. Spoke about what we needed to do, um, and, and they delivered the, the game plan really well. Um, you know, it's always tough backing up after after a big big derby game like we like we had, but uh, you know, couldn't be couldn't be more pleased and proud that, <coughs> that this would be league club at this moment in time. The thing that lifted them. Uh, you know, gave him energy was uh, obviously those two tries here were was gifted off the back of um, our uh, execution. And a couple of times in the second half, it was always going to be the back end of the halves here, I thought we could be able to get on top. Um, and in the second half there, we had you know, two, what I call really um, you know, poor penalties, you know. Uh, I don't know what, you know, again, you can't, can't put the team in that situation. So that sort of, you know, again, that kept... Um, Putting energy back into Wakefield's defensive line. Obviously, uh, our just being clinical on their try line. So I thought our um, our execution there on their try line was was poor. Well, we didn't have we had zero in uh, in the first half. We had twenty. That leads had twenty two um, play the balls, but you know we just kept coming up with ways of, of, of stopping uh, of stopping the rhinos getting over the uh, over the line and. Yeah, it's a great, a great all-round team effort tonight. I know I said it after the uh, after the whole game, and I'll probably get some stick, um, but I, I genuinely feel that 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 win today is probably my best at, uh, at Wakefield Trinity. Um, it yeah, certainly made made me a, a, a very proud man tonight. Yeah, it was always going to be hard. We, we, we you know, look, we do, you know, I thought we, uh, you know, we come home stronger there at the back end of the game, but we, as I said. Given the, the uh, start, um, trying to chase them down, in particular after um, you know uh, two you know, two days you know, playing before, so that makes it hard. And I'm disappointed. You know, I, I felt you know again. I, I still feel the teams you know learning, but you you want to be learning off those types of games here uh, and grabbing the two points. So um, the focus will be uh, obviously the, our execution there on the, on the trial line. Yeah, it's, look, it's not as bad, but I'm not sure if you'll if you be uh, ready for, for Sunday. We've got a few more you know, injuries here. We've had that, um, even coming into this game. You know, it's good that uh, you know, Trent was back, but um, you know, he just got off the plane. And um, I thought he did a you know, tremendous effort there. I noticed he sort of gassed it you know, towards the end. But um, as I said, you know, when you lose some, you know, in these sort of games, when you're backing up after you know, a short turnaround, you get, you know, you lose a, a bench man. Uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, Wellow's been pretty good for the team, so um, that was a, a bit of a loss. Um, but
but uh, yeah, Wakefield had their their injuries as well, so we need to uh, we need to learn uh, that second half. I talked about it. Uh, we just got we, we need more actions and a bit more control from our, our senior players. I don't know if you've got a chance to work it out, Chris, but do you know how much roughly of your cap you, you know, you, you've got sat on the sidelines at the minute? I mean, half your cap, something like that? Or? I think it's around about three quarters at the minute with, uh, with the 12 that we've got out injured. You know, out of those 12, there's 11 that have been my, have been my 17 on a, on, a, on a weekly basis. So, um, yeah, without actually giving you a figure, it's a, it's a lot of money. Um, but you know, having said that, we've, we've given some opportunities to some players today, Chris Anakin um, and, and obviously uh, Lee Kershaw as well. And, uh, you know, they've... They've had great games. They've had really, really good games. But uh, collectively, one to seventeen, I thought we were fantastic. Just the fight and the the spirit that were that were evident out there tonight. You know, you've got a bunch of guys that that love spending time with each other, and you know, we we probably wanted to work the hardest out of the two teams tonight. And I just thought that that was uh, that was evident. Your junior players, a fantastic performance again from Owen Trout. Another eighty minutes. Yeah, look, it's you know. Um, people like Trouty and um, you know Harry. Uh, look at Ash Hanley's still you know young. Yeah, we've got a lot of uh, some young players in there, but just having that sort of experience and those those opportunities is only you know better for the future. Um, uh, you know Harry, there's probably some learnings there from Harry there on on that left edge. But you know the one thing I like is is the players here and the younger players they're bringing that energy there and going out there and trying their, you know, their best. So. That's all I asked for the younger players, and I think I think you got that from from uh, from our, our younger brigade. And, you know, I can't thank uh, Alderman enough. Um, you know, because he's got uh, he's, he's out there on loan, and I spoke to Scott Naylor. I think at quarter twelve after the uh, after the Castleford game, and just said, "Listen, I'm going to have to pull this uh, Kershaw back." And you know, he didn't he didn't look out of place at all. I thought he was fantastic. A couple of things defensively that we need to work um, that we need to work with him, but. God, he's a handful to put down. He's one of the strongest kids in the uh, in the team. Uh, you know, he squats an unbelievable amount, and uh, you know, hard to get down tonight. Um, so yeah, listen, really, you know, it's a little bit emotional. His curse. He was emotional after we uh, we played Leeds on Boxing Day because he didn't think he had the the best of games, and he's emotional after the game tonight. He had some tears in his eyes because he he's got his opportunity and he's played really, really well. We've not got any bodies coming back. Well, potentially Kyle Wood uh, and, and maybe Tyler Randall. Um, so uh, you know, we've got a couple of fresh bodies, hopefully, to, to, to come back next week. Um, so yeah, special win. You're on the right side of the narrow margin. Uh, is this a turning point game? Do you think for the season? Oh, what, sorry. On the right side of the narrow margin this time. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 been frustrating the last three or four weeks. We've lost by two. Hull KR. We lost Warrington. Um, and uh, yeah, we we got beat by two at the, uh, on Thursday. So yeah, I'm I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. You know, I'm hoping that people like Danny Bruff and you know those guys are, are help us win those games. But we're having to do it without those those senior senior players out there. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm hoping this is you know we've turned a we've turned a corner and we now have to win those those uh, close games.